What up, day 94. So today's compound is overhead press. Uh, last week we did a, not a complete five by seven with 125, we did like three sets. So, you know, I said, screw it, we'll increase the weight. I'm doing 130, hoping to get for, uh, hoping to get this for a five by six. And then after overhead press, we'd, we're gonna do some uh, chest hypertrophy work. Let's go, dude. I broke through the overhead press plateau, I think. Easy, dude. Four more sets. Dude, I took a lot of pre-workout again. So that Ghost version two that I took for a while, I had a scoop left and I ran out of my other pre-flight. Anyway, or pre-lift, whatever it shit's called. But uh, sorry about the no deadlift video. After, uh, or on s Sunday, you know, I released it today on Monday. But uh, I went and played cornhole and I was out a lot later than I normally am, so yeah. I got home pretty late and I was like, I'm just gonna go to bed. But I know y'all don't care. Sick though, 365 for a five by six. Um, anyway, that was good. Let's, uh, let's do this again, man. Hopefully six. I hopped too much on that one. That's a little too, that hop was a little too much. It's all right. Woo, three more sets. I gotta do a mile rep. Ah, <sighs> oh, got heavy quick. I mean, it's been heavy the whole time, but. Another mile rip. Whew. Ah. Whew. I hopped. It's okay. One more set. All right, last set. Little suicide boys for you. Let's do one more. 
backed out. This is Mick Press. Let's do four sets. Same, same cadence. Gonna focus on the. Ten. Huh? Ten. Ten. Gonna focus on holding the stretch. Really good form, man. Push, push, push. That's all I got there. Whew. All right, two more sets. Look, I realized we dropped the weight down, but we also slowed the cadence a lot. And that's that's way more impressive than just bouncing weight off your chest. Sure, I could throw in 185 and fuck around and get, you know, just as many reps, but the stretch and holding the stretch is gonna optimize your growth potential. You know what I mean? I knew I, I knew I was fucked on that one. <laughs> as soon as I started to sing, I'm like, no way, dude. All right, that's it. some flies now but the emphasis is gonna be on the upper shelf so I'm gonna open my hands up like palms towards the sky start a little low like this and finish up here so look I'm starting right here stretch Yeah, that was sweet. Yeah. I definitely feel it. I almost feel it all over, but I can, I can feel it up here too. All right, round two. Two more sets. Ooh, how y'all doing? Yeah. 
All right, we're gonna do some high lows, man. Hey, today's one of those days, man. We're just focused up, just focused up. But I like that. It, it almost start from here and going up here. It almost, you're hitting lower and here, and then you're also hitting like the upper middle part of your shelf too. I don't know, I like it. I'm definitely lagging up here. I want my chest to be so big I can rest my shaker in between sets. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> so stupid. All right, let's go. High to low. I'm not gonna do dips this week because I hurt my shoulder blade last week. So let's do this. So up here, now my palms are down. Focus on right here in the middle. Let's do one more set just like that. Alright, one more set. The shirt's coming off today. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Let's see in the studio. Waiting for this to do something. We was talking about now. The, the now, like, so I own now, like, one through four. Those are so good. I'm talking about TLC, like, <laughs> fucking Destiny's Child, Sum 41, Lenny Kravitz, fucking Three Doors Down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I just didn't want to do dips because whatever, it was probably just like a pinched nerve or something, right? Because it stopped hurting the next day, but it was, it was pretty spicy, so. Um, felt like I hit enough uh, striation, enough you know stretching with uh, with those cable files. Those are sick, dude. I don't know what it is. So with your palms up, starting like high and going low, you're you're like, I felt it in my entire chest. It was kind of cool. So I don't like these purple lights. It got me looking like Barney in here. I wish I could. We gotta find the remote to control them, dude. Yeah, it's a clapper. <laughs> Fucking liar. I'm trying to give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> no one else will. Look at my belly fat shaking when I do that. I mean, they're they're getting big, dude. I, I mean, to me, they're getting big, right? Look at, I got, dude, I can see my ribs, bro. <laughs> I can see my little riblets. Um, just blossoming. That's them Kentucky short ribs right there. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you're, like, your pec is picking up more now. There's less. I love it, yeah. Well, I don't know if you got, I'm making it noticeable now, but my nipples have always been crooked due to my fat deposits. They're not evenly distributed on my chest. So, see this one? A little bit droopy versus this guy. You breastfed on that one. <laughs> a little bit, dude. All right, anyway. I'll see you in the truck this time. Sorry about the last outro. Just some things came up, and uh, I got a little hood rat that night. I went out to a friend's house and played cornhole and listened to some live music. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't make you guys a priority that day, but 
sometimes I'm a little selfish and think about myself too. You know. Anyway, see you in the truck. Look at this sunshine. It's awesome. It's awesome. Day 94, Dunzo. I'm pumped up, man. I am pumped up. Hey, listen. Cody remind look, this is why I love Cody. This is why I love Cody. He doesn't let me he doesn't give me any slack, right? Like the other outro. <laughs> when I was like, bro, run a stop sign, I was the one that ran a stop sign. And he reminded me that I forgot to post what I look like before I started working out. This is a really embarrassing photo. I'll post two right here. Bam. Bam. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, some things I notice a lot is my face, my stomach, and my chest and stuff. Grant, you guys are gonna be like, well, you weren't that fat. Those weren't my biggest. You gotta think like, in my biggest, I was avoiding things pretty bad. So there you go. There's some, uh, hopefully that gives you some, some motivation. But uh, yeah, it was, it was a sick day. Those, uh, um, I've been really bopping to this song. It's by Dutch Melrose. It's called Rush. I can't let y'all list it longer. I get copyright, but you can... we'll jam for a second. I'll tell you, man, my music taste is way different outside of the gym than in the gym. But uh, um, anyway, those new flies are good. I've, I'll admit, I should go. I'll admit, I've been prioritizing my lower pec probably a little too much more than my upper pec. Um, I know we've been doing incline barbell and stuff, but it's not ever been to the point where it's a lot of hypertrophy, you know what I mean? So I think I'm gonna do those flies or do some kind of incline fly variation. Cause I mean, it's still hard to tell because I have a lot of fat distribution and you know, like my crooked nipples and stuff. But uh, I can tell that my upper shelf is a lot more behind than my lower. So I need to start making that a priority. And it's good to mix things up too, right? We'll still do dips, we'll still do high to lows, but I'm talking about doing some, some flies really hit up here, you know? But uh, I know I dropped the weight down an incline barbell, but I, I told you guys I'm really gonna make it a priority to focus on the slow eccentric, you know, you know slow descend, hold the stretch and uh, do that. So it's, it just stinks, man. So this is what I struggle with because all my lifts, my compounds, I said I was gonna let you guys list that for a little bit and I've been jamming. Um, <laughs> anyway, what I struggle with is that on my list, on my lifts, whether it's compound, hypertrophy stuff, accessories, whatever, I have, like, you, you have to do progressions, right? And the progressions I like to do is like adding more weight each week if I can. If not, more reps, more sets, you get the gist, but you know, like 135 today on incline barbell was really good form, dude. I was slow, controlled. I was holding it. I felt my 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 chest is stretching wide open, and then pressing, and then you know I I've done it in the past, but I've increased the weight probably too quickly, and then my form and you know my cadence has suffered versus you know so. Um, yeah, I'm just anyway. What I'm getting at is I'm gonna focus. I'm gonna prioritize the slow eccentric, right? and try to make progressions, not get so quick with my progressions. You know, I'm just trying to trying to rush into this thing. I mean, you gotta be intense and you gotta push yourself, especially to break through, you know, plateaus or whatever, but let's keep the good form, man. I'm telling you the bet, you could work in the stretch position on every lift and, and have a sick physique, dude. If I did bench and I was just in here, I, I, would, I would still grow. Granted, if you're up here in the contracted position and coming just halfway down going up, you're only hurting yourself. No one's impressed by how much weight you got on. But you could work in the stretch position. Biceps, dude. Anything, dude. Anything. You work in the stretch, like you're gonna you're gonna get optimal gains. So, um, yeah. Anyway, just just know just know I'm gonna. You guys know by now. I'm just gonna keep staying intense and consistent, and I'm still gonna. You know, I, you have to do progressions or you're not getting better. You know. But anyway. But here we go. Like always, man, go home, eat some rice, eat some. I had to buy a new scale. My other scale broke. It's just fine. It was a cheap, it was like eight bucks at Walmart. But uh, gonna go home, weigh my food, get some rice, get some, uh, some whey isolate, 64 grams of that. And then, you know, 
wait, eat some more chicken breast, just keep this thing going, man. I'm hoping, you know, we got a couple weeks until May. I would like to get down to 222 by the end of April. That would be, dude, that would be crazy. That'd be 13 pounds of weight loss. I want, you know, eventually we'll bulk. I'm eating a deficit right now. Eventually we'll bulk, but I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep cutting until I get around like 210 and see how vascular I am, you know, might keep it going, maybe get 210 and do like a mini cut, you know, cut my caloric intake by like 20 to 40% even more and do like a pretty like excruciating cut for like four weeks and then bulk. I don't know. I'll have to see. I'll have to see. But yeah, so let's lose, let's lose like, you know, 14, 13 more pounds and then go from there. And then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll do a reverse diet. I won't, I won't commit to 4,000 calories right off the bat. We'll, we'll, we'll go up to like 3,000 for a couple weeks and go up to 3,500 for a couple weeks and then we'll go up to 4,000 and then just really put on some mass, dude. Put on some mass. I'm getting 315 on, on bench press. I promise y'all. So the goals, you, you guys mark this video down. Within, give me a year. Give me a year from today. Today is April 15th. A year from today, I will have done 495 on deadlift. 405 on squat and 350, 315 on bench press. It's gonna happen. Mark it down. It's gonna happen. But yeah. Anyway, just rest up. I slept a lot last night, dude. It was sick. I slept like like nine and a half hours. It was nice, dude. I started watching that new Fallout show. So I I love those video games. I wouldn't put it in my top tier, you know. As far as like all-time favorite, but it's a good it's a good video game. Uh, but the, they have a you know the Fallout video game. They have a new TV series on uh, Amazon. It's actually really good. I watched the episode last night and I fell asleep watching the second episode. Um, but it's good. Some okay. Let me back up. Some of my favorite games. This might shock y'all. Oh fuck. All right. I'll give you all my top three. That's tough, dude. That's really tough. Can I go? All, can I go like way back? Let's just go way back. All time from childhood to now. Top three favorite games is gonna be Pokemon Red and Blue. Easy, easy, dude. Uh, Halo. Okay, Halo two and three. Let me just combine those two in one. Halo two and three, and then you guys are gonna think I'm psychotic, dude. But Escape from Tarkov, I probably put it at number three. There's some other games I've played a lot too, you know, like Call of Duty. I don't play really anymore. Fortnite early on, Fortnite was so much fun. Um, I mean, I like PGA Tour, you know, whatever. But those three games, I've put the most hours in. Pokemon Red and Blue, Halo 2 and 3, and Escape from Tarkov. Those are my top three. Let me know your top three. We can agree to disagree, right? But anyway, I love you guys. Um, got a lot of work to do today. Sounds like I'll be going to Boston pretty soon um, for work. That's going to be ironic, man. Me going to Boston. Well, anyway, I can't really talk about that a whole lot. But it's, it's for work stuff. Anyway, I love you all so much. We're at 444 subs last time I checked. Um, weight loss has been good. Everything's been good. Progressions are going up. We broke through this overhead press plateau. 130 for five by six. Okay, we did a, we did five, we did six reps twice, and then the rest we had to do mile. But so we might keep it at 130 again next week. See if we can get it more. But anyway, but, no, I'm just rambling. ADHD ram, just picking and grabbing. You know, things that are coming in my brain. But love y'all. I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.